Alright, I'm Sovereign Sage, and I'm going to be trying to do my best to cover Maria's basic attacks. So, foremost and foremost, um, so her character image phrase is Aizen and Ka, which stands for, which translates to English, Bewitching Flower of Passion. Also, her Giga Bazara title is Sengen, Source of the Hot Spring. And her Giga Basra artwork image is a celestial maiden or dancing woman. You choose. Also, her weapon is a cloth and her element is wind. Her voice actress, uh, Seiyu, is Miyuki Sawashiro. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what her Giga Basra looks like. <laughs> Drop her. <laughs> Alright. So a personal inscription, I actually don't have it, but it, if I did, it's Allure. And basically, the duration of several of her attacks will be increased. She also has the ability to make enemies into stronger spinning tops, which is basically what her whole square does, as you can see there. Basically, she wraps her cloth around an enemy and causes them to twirl about, and they're called spinning tops. So basically, that gets stronger, and uh, I think uh, her second R2, this one here, I believe it, it's increased. I don't really understand how that one could be increased. Um, that's her, I think it's Oshibe Shimo, uh, Shimoba Karama. And that one increases somehow. I don't really know what that would what that would do. So if I hold her square, again, each character has a combo with the square button. If you tap it seven to eight times, they'll do different things. I actually have a separate video where I showed this already. It's like one of my favorite combos for her just because I like the way it looks. So basically, if you just tap the square button, it looks like this. <laughs> So that's what it is. However, if you hold it, it becomes Swinging Spin or Furukuru. And basically, like I said, it turns enemies into spinning tops. But I'm out here by myself where there is no enemies. But yeah, it's like that. Looks like she's dancing. I would have to be near enemies to actually show you that one. So we'll have to wait on that one. But that's what it is. So if we move on to her triangle. Basically, she can send cloth out that binds enemies and cause them... It does damage to them over time and it causes them to like leap about because they're bounded. So that one is called in Indecent Strike or Midarauchi. So... Yeah, and if you keep tapping it, she'll... So if you hold it down, she'll launch it longer. So if I just push it once, it does that, but if I hold it, she, she sends out like two or so more longer. So her directional plus triangle is a molde coma, or it translates into suffering spinning top, which basically is the same as her triangle, or her square rather. Um, where she can turn enemies into spinning tops where she wraps her cloth around them and causes them to spin. So, uh, like this. However, if you let go of the directional button as you do that, uh, and you hold triangle down, she'll spin it longer. So, joystick plus triangle. And then you can, uh, hold down the triangle button and she'll kind of spin it a little longer. And then she lets go on her own. Even if you are holding the button down, she releases it by herself. Also, with the joystick, you can um, pull the camera out and look at her. So you can control it with the joystick like this. Or you can pull it out all together. 
So you can either look at her closely or look at her up close. Yeah, that's all up to you. So then her R1 translates into sexy skipping rope. Like, what is the deal with that? Um, or Iro uh, Nawatobi. It's like this. How is this sexy? I don't get it. Oh, yeah. Spin me like your rabbit or your hamster in a rolling ball. Mm. Drop her. Drop her. Drop her. Crew. So that's what that one is. What's the, what's the deal with that? I don't know. So then her L1 plus triangle turns into a Maiwana, which is sweet trap in English. So. Oh my god. That's so wrong. So you have to hold it down to get her to keep doing that. Basically, um, when she does that, if there's an enemy near her, she just traps them, basically. So again, I have my R2s for her swap backwards. Oh god, woe is me. Um, so this would be her first one. I have it se second. So this is the one I ain't gonna be able to do unless I have enemies near me. I do have a playthrough video where I did Nagamasa's Sengoku creation out in which I had her with him, and I already showed this off at the Kitanosha castle stage. However, basically all it does is a cloth comes down around her and she surrounds enemies, and then she gets like cloth around them, and they kind of like, they're like a sleigh in a way, where she, they pull her basically. And it's basically called Stamen Se uh, Servant Car, quite literally. Um, or, it, or it's, um, let's see, it's, it's, I think it's Oshi, uh, Oshibe Shimobi, or uh, Kur Kurama, um, and that's what it becomes. I can't show you that one unless I'm near enemies, so that one's gonna have to wait. And then this one here, I actually like this one a lot, which is why I have it set first. So, like, a little butterfly will come by her hand, and whoever happens to touch said butterfly will get ca uh, caught by her cloth wraps. And basically, it'll lift them up, and she'll kind of just like walk around in front of them, so it judges them. So, if she finds that they're attractive, she'll blow a kiss at them. If she doesn't, she'll kind of smack her hand at them, and they take damage the whole time they're binded. So, I believe that turn translates, it's, it's my prisoner, or, um, Swarara no Toriko, I believe. <laughs> Butterfly, some uh, wow, that camera angle. What was that? It like shifted to the left. Butterfly in the sky. I can fly twice as high. It's in a book. Take a look. The reading rainbow. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. So that's that one. The last one is One Night Secret, or the Ichi no Hime Goto. That one I like too. It's so... <laughs> yeah, that was weird. I think it changes based on if I hold it down or not. Let's see if I just push it once. <laughs> yeah, so it does change. So if you hold it down, she kind of puts her head back like... Let's see. So if you hold it down, it changes right about here. <laughs> yeah, so it changes based on if you hold it down or not. Keiji's still stuck over there. He's like, help me. I am stuck in an existential crisis. Ooh. Bing. Bing. I like how when she runs or skips, there's like a bell sound. He's like, I am stuck. Why do you torture me, torture me so? Also, her guard is this. Kind of wraps the cloth around her cool like. Ooh. Okay. So I'm gonna have to get out near some enemies so I can show off two of those attacks, because you can't see it otherwise. 
So let me trot all the way over here. Do do. It's, it's, it's supposed to drop her at some point, I thought. She's kind of like above the water. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. So let me get close to the screen so I can show you her taunt. Her eyes glow, now they're glowing. So it causes her eyes to glow blue. I don't know what's up with that. It's kind of creepy at times uh, where they're just glowing. Normally her eyes wouldn't be glowing, but I think when you taunt they glow. And I don't know if they return back to normal at some point. I don't, I don't think so. But yeah, so her eyes are just glowing now. They might always glow, but I swear they weren't a second ago. So that's a thing. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Oops. Have to clip myself back into the world here. So it's gonna freeze me for a few seconds and it should unfreeze to... Seeing her eyes are glowing again. Oh dear, I am above myself. What will I ever do? Jump to the stairs. Nagamasa. No, 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 no. He's off. He's a Kamasaka. So he's not actually here. She isn't either. I have to go back out to the very beginning um, to get the cutscene to play properly to load the character into the world. So technically she is following me around the room right now, but she's not actually there. So I'm going to just keep running a little bit. So let me show you what her uh, normal Basra attack looks like. So I showed you what her Giga Basra looks like. So flowers. So this is what her normal Basra looks like. It's like a slot machine thing a little bit. Like. So her bosser attack is like one of the only ones where she gets like a little song. Like there's music added to it. I don't know what the hell's up with that. I really couldn't tell you. It's kind of weird. So to show off those two attacks, um, or those three, I'm gonna have to get out near enemies. Just give me just a second here. Trying to fill up her boss right now. Hayosha! Yeah, KG seems really excited about that. Mm. Is it just me or did it just get dark? What the hell? I am in a dark world. Let there be light. Ooh. Well, that's fancy now, isn't it? Mm. Now let there be darkness. Ooh, that's pretty. That is wow, that jiggle. Mm. Ooh, my god, my face. Yeah. <coughs> Let me get her through the wall. Hold on. Through the door. There we go. Oh, 
そのはずだあなたはぜひを選べたのねよかったねリーさんあなたのバラバに何が欲しいの Oh, he interrupted me in the middle of it. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> Musashi. Musashi, me about to get whipped. I can't catch him, I'm not close enough. So if she finds him attractive, she'll blow a kiss at him. If she doesn't, she'll like swing her hand like... No, she doesn't find him attractive, oh. Punish you, punish you all. He's like, bye, I'm out of here. <sighs> He's like, I don't have time for your slot machine bullshit. Just teleports out. So that's what the servant car and the other one looks like. So the spinning top one, I need to still show how much. Come to me, my dear. KG, can you help me here? He did not last long. The I glitched out of the stage, so I don't. I should be running into Nagamasa up here at some point. So I'm just gonna clear the stage so I can show you her character victory <laughs> outro. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, 
ざ尋常にもう終わっておったのか Need to go take this last base real quick. That aside, though, that really is all of her basic attacks. He was hiding in my blind spot. I can't believe that crap. He's like, you can't see me. La 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 Oh god. Yeah, okay. So I should be able to go and face myself. Let's see here. This is probably going to take a lot longer than I had intended. Ow! Nagamasa hits like a truck. She finds her own brother attractive. Something wrong with that. Oh dear God. It's like she just slurred that word. Oh my god. Oh 
I want to see if she's actually here. So she's supposed to be in front of you, but I don't see her. If I just wait till all the coin people, um, enter. So Ichi's out there now. So I'm gonna just wait it out like it's cross I have to wait till four of them make it in. Here's somebody dashing to me and I don't hear nothing. See nothing. So I don't know how long this is gonna take to wait it out till they make it in. It's probably gonna take forever for me to wait for this. Well, <laughs> six, four, two, and one. It oh, seems now they're moving faster now that I came out. That's weird. That's weird. That is so weird. <laughs> いくさまだ終わってはおらぬ。うわ、痛そう。俺なら絶対倒れてるね。わらわの前には及ばないけれど。taking a long time. I think I do need to go back out there. Hold on. Once I came to the door, they started moving faster. Oh, I lost the base. ま、でも起こせばどうかしら。ほ、ほ。Just suddenly a guy. I don't want to fight Nagamasa, I better get through that door. Oh, Ichi's like right there. Ow! 
Did you see her? She just spawned in my face. Where is she going, Oichi? Oichi, no. No, Oichi. Eat, eat. Oh, okay, she's like, bye. I need you to come back up here to me. Why, why, why can't you hear me? No, no. Come on, come on, Nagamasa. Let's run to me, run to me. Oh my god. This is taking forever. Oh dear, oh me, oh my, okay, oh my. Oh my god, no. I keep hitting the wrong one. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! <laughs> 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 oh man, that means nothing. Well, I was trying to uh, wait long enough for Keiji to come back alive so I could clear that stage, but unfortunately I died like an idiot. Oh. Well, that's to be expected. It is on heaven difficulty after all. I don't know what I was thinking I was going to do there. Well, that was a huge, colossal waste of my time. It's great. Um, well, moving on to her uh, weapon. So this one is a dancing cloth for the glamorous me. It's one of the ones I like. Yeah, it's just her, all of her attacks are cloth based. So this is her default outfit. It's okay. Green. Um, this is her tank of metal outfit. I think it's called Empress version or something like that. She even gets like a little tiara. And then this is her alternate outfit. This outfit is in unlocked in game. All you gotta do is either clear her drama route or her Sengoku creation route and you unlock it. Doesn't matter what order you do it. Um, so that's how you do that. This one here. Um, actually no, this is called this is the glamorous cloth. This is the uh, dancing cloth for the glamorous me. God, I, I get these mixed up because the kanji looks the same. It all looks the same to me. One is shorter. This I think this one is a... Yeah, this one is a dancing sash for the refined me. Uh, then her default one is a dancing sash for the beautiful me, and then she has her gold one, a dancing sash for the beautiful me gold one, and then I believe the, this is the, the revolting snake which Nagamasa hates, quite literally, that's what the, that's what it trans to, translates to in English. Nagamasa apparently doesn't like this snake, it looks like she has rubber snakes just on her hands, I don't know how you could expect to fight and or kill people with that, it makes no damn sense. It's kind of freaking ridiculous. Like, quite literally. Then this one... This is the unsigned one. So this is a dancing sash for the beautiful me un uh, unsigned. Yeah, it's just red. Don't really like that one too much. Like, it's unappealing. And then she has her gold one. And then the snake one. And then her default... Her default turns red, by the way. Uh, it's supposed to be green, but if you have her alternate outfit unlocked and you activate it, it turns the cloth red. It's kind of unique and kind of a neat trick, because normally it would be uh, green. See? 
it see how it turns it green and then it'll turn it go uh, red here and I think for her empress it turns it the same color as her dress I think it's really neat that's the only weapon that does that based on her outfit her default weapon will change colors so that's actually really neat and then her gold one her gold one looks like a bunch of coins literally looks like coins or something stapled together or yeah like tied together I don't really care for her gold weapon. It's not really appealing. It just looks like she has coins. I'm not sure what the what the deal is with that. But yeah, her default weapon does change colors based on her uh, outfit. It's the only one that does that that I know of. It really is everything I can show for her. It does feel like a colossal waste of time. So I was going to try to get her character victory. Uh, I'll have it in a separate video. It'll just call. It'll be called Maria Kiyogoku uh, Victory Outro. And I will have it on my channel. It's just I don't have time really to go through a whole stage to show that. And it, a lot of people don't really care to see that. They're only here for her basic moves. That really is everything I can tell you about her. There really is nothing else to say. Um, that was a huge waste of time. Like I was trying to clear the stage and then I died. So Ichi was wanted me dead. She was like, I'm coming for you. And I was like, yeah, great. So, um... There really is nothing more for me to say. Not really. So I guess thanks for watching. If you did, I'm sovereign say sorry that it took so long and that wasted a huge bunch of time. I might have to put a something in the description to tell people to skip, or I probably won't have enough room to do that because normally the description for these videos is pretty long. Um, but yeah, that that was dumb. Ugh.